Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So this ladder goes all the way up to my base, to my all through all my layers and, and bedroom there. And I brought it all the way down here to the point where I wanted to mine at, and I started building out my mining area. And the the sort of key thing here with the mines, I'm not going to wander into that too much because they're pretty standard sort of poke hole strip mines. But uh, it's at it's at the level I like to mine at, which is Y11. Uh, and then, but it's going out this direction, which is east and I dug out the community mine going that way which is west with the thought that maybe everyone would start mining out that way it's a big world and I could mine this way and then I don't have to worry about running into anybody else mostly worked I do occasionally run into to issues with risk and see kind of building a mine out this way at uh, at Y12 so I occasionally when I'm doing when I'm digging along here and then I branch out to the left I do run into his this one shaft um, which is all the more that he did uh, which is fine I can deal with that it's not a big deal um, but as I was digging through here and going through these caves discovered a couple things one is that there are two slime chunks right over here and I've shown the slime farm recently um, and so I built a big old slime farm you can hear the slimes there um, I do plan on rebuilding this to make it more efficient than it is but it generates plenty of slime and it's two two chunks um, so it's not, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. The other thing that I found while well exploring the caves up here was the zombie spawner. Hi, Mr. Slime. How are you? There's a zombie spawner back over here. This was a small cave that terminated about right here. And there was a zombie spawner in here. Or there was a zombie spawner at this point. And at that version of the game, hi, how are you? This is one of the uh, Halloween zombies that spawned, and I captured him, and he still has his uh, pumpkin on his head. So that's why I have David S. Pumpkins there. So zombie spawner, um, this was my initial XP farm and item repair. But uh, I have I have carpeted it all now to try and keep things from spawning in general. Um, so I should be able to light it up and and how I should be able to turn off the lights and have oh well not nothing they can spawn on carpets from a spawner. Oh goodness, this is news to me. I did not know that. Okay, well, good to know. So anyway, that's what this was. And from that, I extracted... Uh, I, I sort of kept spawning zombies until I got villagers, zombie villagers. Now, in this version of the game, this spawner does not spawn villager, zombies, zombie villagers anymore. Sorry, I keep getting it backwards. Uh, this also happens to be in a slime chunk, so I have to be careful because I do get slimes spawning up in there but um, but I would pull the the zombie villagers out cure them I have supplies here to do the curing and what I did was then I built an area over here where I made a little village just a super simple little village hi um, and I started putting, I, I got a couple of them in here, and there's a Fletcher, and then this guy's a smith of some sort. 
Um, <clears throat> and and so I put them in here and I built a little potato farm. Oh, here. This is Mr. Fletcher. He's one of the originals that I cured. And he's one of the up there. It's one of the, the ones that I cured. And uh, they started breeding. And I have a little villager breeder here. And if I... I haven't really been pulling them out, but if I decide that I want to get like this guy, oh, I don't like his trades, or I do like his trades, I have a little rail set up here. I can put them here, and I run rails out to where they are, push them along. Once they hit the powered rails, they go zoop, up and over. And the uh, the half slab here, um, they can pass through, but they can't jump up on top of here and escape. They can't jump up to these to this ladder. The ladder lets you jump up over the fence. And uh, and then they come off this rail, they land on the powered rail here, and they go. Um, and then one of two things happens, depending on the position of this switch, whether this rail is like that or that, if it's this way, they go along here, and again, depending on the position of this this switch, and they go in here, minecart gets broken on the cactus, they get pushed off there and into, oh look, there's a little cheese bath for them. Hi. Um, <clears throat> and this gets, and then the, the minecart is picked up by the hopper there, and it's dispensed out here, and it rolls back, all the way back to the village. And that happens far enough away so that no matter what happens to the villager, um, it doesn't affect spawning in the village itself because they're unaware of what goes on over there. It's far enough away. It's very good. And if I want, I can switch this so that they go in here. And then I have another switch here which pushes up a piston here so that I can build a bridge over this rail. And I can put the villagers into one of these little cubicles. These are workstations. They're not prisoners at all, but I have I have captured and employed uh, villagers of various types. So I've got library. I've got a librarian here with a mending book for ten emeralds. It's pretty good. So I've got them in here. I've got an infinity book for five, um, and and then I've got a couple others like a cleric here, and I came up with a scoring system out of ten. So he's a pretty good cleric. Um, power five bow for 64 emeralds. It's expensive, but fortunately you don't need them very often. Um, farmer, the best farm everything. Best farm things. What? What? Oh, that's somebody. Oh, I wonder what happened here. I had a sign that had some important stats about this farmer. I also have a farmer score and my farmer score is missing. Somebody may have accidentally broken this sign. Feather falling for 18, appreciated. Huh, so I have a cartographer here that has a couple of maps, ocean and woodland map. Um, yeah, I have to figure out what happened here figure out what his score is. So I have a farmer that's got reasonably good prices on stuff. So if you go and farm lots of stuff, he's a good way of getting emeralds quickly. Uh, and and so on. Another cleric with a, another score, but he has a lower score, but he has bottles of enchanting for three emeralds, which is a good price. So anyway, I've got these sort of three layers on each side, uh, and I have filled four and a little bit of them almost four and a half and I have enough room over here for a whole mess more and again they're not prison cells no so that's fine so then I then I started building out farms so you can have stuff to trade with them so I've got watermelons and pumpkins and I don't know why he's sitting there I don't know why I haven't done anything with him so then carrots and potatoes and, and wheat and um, you know, reeds, this stuff, sugarcane. And then I started building automated sugarcane farms. So I've got one there and I've got a couple around the corner. Uh, so I just started building out 
stuff here. So I got a couple big ones here that do their thing. Uh, so this is, you know, if you need paper to trade, you can grab this. And then, so this is my, my villager spawner area, which is going to be very helpful in 1.13 because there are new enchants to get. So I need new villagers. So as long as I keep them happy and alive, everything should be fine. And I don't even need this spawner anymore, but I keep it just sort of for posterity. Um, I also created a little chicken breeder here. I got a bunch of chickens in there. And they they poop out their uh, their eggs, fills up this dispenser. I have a little clock on that so I can turn this on and it shoots the eggs against the wall here. And then you get little baby chickens and then you can wait for a bit and kill them. And then this here is a dark room mob spawner. I may as well start picking up some drops of various sorts. Um, <clears throat> and when I was spending time here grinding uh, grinding villagers, the, these this got pretty active and this is pretty good. So I've got, you know, supplies of stuff. So if you need gunpowder, uh, you're not going to get a lot from here. Uh, redstone, this is the 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 witch drops, the gunpowder, redstone, and all this stuff. Actually, the gunpowder comes from uh, creepers as well. But the rest of this stuff is mostly witches. Which, you know, we have some stuff, but not a ton. And then I've got overflow, which at this point is mostly just uh, leather, leather armor. Um, and I've got a little smelter here, so... As I do get piles of iron armor, I throw them in here and smelt them back down to iron nuggets. Uh, not super helpful now that we have the iron farm, but let's go take a look at what this looks like up here. Uh, oh, it's just the sorter. That's not helpful at all. This is, goes up. So this is kind of a just pretty typical darkroom spawner design there's a lot of stuff going on in there and I've got a little clock here which is frozen oh okay I have a little hopper clock which for some reason freezes up I think it has to do with people are not here so then it has a little Spawning platforms and the water alternates and pushes the mobs off the platforms. And I've got a few. And this actually goes right up to ocean. Not that that's terribly helpful, but there we go. Um, <clears throat> so I built it up pretty much as far as I had space for. And then I come down here. Boop. Oh, look. Yeah, so it wasn't wasn't exactly working. And then I can come out here, and I left a little space so I can shoot these guys, and they can't see me. Uh, and then this is particularly useful when with witches because the witches from the bottom floor, the drop isn't enough to kill them, and so and then they they pull out their little healing potions and they heal themselves. So, and the spiders don't always die. So it's not a great mob farm, but it, it was a good starter mob farm. So that's this little area here. Why do I have llamas? Um, yeah, uh, Barb makes things decided I needed some llamas. So, so there we go, llamas. And they were all over the place, but they were gonna be in the light way. So I kind of corralled them a bit. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much this area down here. Which there is a slime chunk right around here. Don't know if I want to bother doing anything with it because I have to do other two slime chunks right over there. Oh, and this rail switch here, if I want to, I can use it to get uh, villagers into the nether. So I've only fixed up part of this nether fortress main area here. Oh, look, magma cube. Uh, if you come up, oh dear. Oh. Stupid blazes. If you come along this way, there's a walkway and eventually I will fix all this up too. But 
there's a blaze spawner on top of this and so I decided to make a blaze farm out of it because blaze rods are useful things there's a few in there already look at that uh, so yeah I built this this sort of kind of standard pusher let's turn off the lights and spawn some blazes so they get pushed by by pistons down into this bottom area here and they sit there until you come up and whack them I can I can crush them if I want to there's not really much point in that but I could also do this to sort of block off the area so they kind of sit on top of the that block uh oh uh oh oh interesting so this there was one of them was probably sitting on one of these pressure plates it's probably bud powering that piston so anyway there you go so blaze rods also not bad for xp uh, in as much as that is useful there's some garbage in my pockets here that I don't need anymore uh, and then I built a little brewing stand here you need to bring your own water filled bottles uh, or I guess a, um, a cauldron would kind of help but you can brew in the nether you just can't really store the water uh, easily and then a little for the XP then I have a little uh, enchanting area here and a little bit of storage nothing too fancy um, some wooden tools for enchanting to uh, recycle the enchant the enchantment that you get out of the enchanting table and with all those lights on above the the spawner it's just enough light to turn it off and if you come up here Hopefully there's I have this whole path lit up pretty good to try and minimize spawns, but Sometimes they still do And that's a strength two beacon so it helps Make sure that uh, If I smack a pig man <laughs> Accidentally and I don't have my smite five uh, Sword on me with the with a sharp five sword and strength two beacon you have a pretty good chance of killing the pig man uh, certainly if you crit if you do a critical hit on it it will uh, but with a smite five sword and a, a strength two beacon it's a one-shot kill on most undead stuff And then the other the other thing in this area that's that's of interest is the gold farm. So I uh, updated this little tunnel so it is gold blocks all the way up. So it's pretty clear what you're doing uh, for the gold farm. I dug up this way and then found a, a spot right at the top of this ladder where it went up and there was only a single block of, of uh, bedrock to clear out in order to get up to the roof so that was convenient but I wanted a wither fighting area and I dug out a huge area of nether rack up here looking for a good pattern of bedrock to work as a wither cage and I found it right here so I built this <clears throat> uh, obsidian platform and then right here is a spot that's a couple blocks tall but it's a, a spot that's completely surrounded by bedrock on all nine all eight sides and if you spawn the wither in the right spot right here its head goes up in the bedrock it can't see you and you can just whack it away and, and kill it right there so that works pretty well and in the in, in the initial explosion the obsidian is tough enough that it doesn't get damaged so it's all good um, it's a little bit GD, but you know, wither fights are a pain in the butt. And we like our beacons. I can clear those out now, can't I, for the most part. So here's the spot at which we go up through the nether roof. 
you can see the beacon that I have in the nether fortress over there and I built the gold farm here this is an item sorter down here to pick up the miscellaneous drops from the pigmen uh, including oops uh, including their heads um, rotten flesh and then this is overflow probably for rotten flesh for the most part but this is a sort of the snow crash donut design that I modified a little bit to make it work a little bit better on the server um, there's two large platforms. The bottom one is all glass, and that's where all the, the everything drops and dies, and then gets uh, shot down these tubes down to the sorting system down there. Um, of course, can't use water in the Nether, uh, and so this is that's this area. And you come down here to pick up the XP and pick up the miscellaneous stuff of the pigmen that fell outside of the the death tubes and then this platform up here is the platform on which this works uh, that's layer left so this would this should work as normal there we go so yeah you just sort of lob an arrow one of these whoops, uh, lob an arrow one of these guys and they get upset and they call out and all their buddies decide that they all want to kill you um, so they walk down these paths and then they walk over uh, trap doors that are open, which they think they can walk on, but of course they can't. Um, <clears throat> and I've got little chutes there that I've filled out with trap doors, so they can't actually walk farther than they think they can. Because uh, sometimes the, the little tiny ones were getting stuck on top of these things. Um, so this works really well. And the the little pathways there increase the amount of time that the pigmen are angry and are on their way marching to you so that they call out to their buddies who are spawning in behind them uh, I found if I built it without that they would the the chain the aggro chain would break too frequently it still breaks from time to time and I do think I want to build a little thing down here where I get one of them on a little platform out in the middle of the donut so that he stays aggro at you and keeps calling out to all his buddies and uh, they come and they try to kill you and then they fall and because they're aggro at you their deaths count as your kills which is pretty cool so then uh, we pick up take off the non the things that don't need mending and do my mending management here so bloop <clears throat> take off that oh, at this point it's just the one thing there we go so now we're all repaired up And we're at 212 levels. The levels go on very slowly at this point, but they do slow. They do go on. I should probably do some enchanting before I get back to 300 levels and then die again. But then you come down to the bottom here, and all the drops get sorted out in chests so that you can pick up your gold and your rotten flesh if you want, because the rotten flesh is okay for trading with villagers. It's not great. You don't get great return on it, but it's it's free emeralds which is hard to complain with so here's the sorting system and all the overflow so all the golden golden swords and everything all get dispensed into lava so they cease to be an issue uh, but you come here and you get your and I was you know that was pretty minor amount of pigmen so that's all the gold I got probably won't turn into much one block okay it's better than nothing again it's free gold one block three ingots and one nugget very nice um pick at the heads and the zombie run flush so that's this area the nether sort of central area the the gold farm is very useful for people to repair their stuff since we have a cheap mending villager with a good I have a villager that wants 10 emeralds for a mending book. So pretty much there's no reason not to have mending on all your stuff. I 
think that's all the stuff in this area. Let's head over. Okay, so this is my portal goes to my place. That's the the community portal. Um, we'll, we'll go down there at a, next time. But over here we have a couple things. This goes down to an area where a big mesa where I've been we've been doing strip mining and Valaria, which is a space that uh, Barb makes things built out. Which we'll go check that out at another time. But this portal goes out to Spawn Island in the middle of the bay. Let's go check that out. So this island is in the spawn. This is the spawn point. It's actually the, the spawn is right here. So stuff falls in and ends up in this chest. Get rid of that stupid egg. Where'd it go? Okay. Um... Ah, uh, it's a haunted egg. Okay, stay there. So this was originally covered in grass and whatnot. Um, I I eventually came and stripped out all the grass because there were a lot of pigs and and chickens and cows and stuff spawning out here, and it was messing with the mob cap. So I went and cleared it out and just lit the whole thing up. So nothing spawns out here. This is a pretty safe area. So new players that spawn in, it's ugly. But, you know, they're safe. And the idea is they come over here, step on this thing, it spits a boat out at them. They can go plop it in the water and they can go sail that direction. I built this big pillar of sand to say, oh, go west, go this way. And if you go that way, you hit the community area. And then I put up signs on each of the other sides saying, no, not this way. Now, people can, of course. Chris can sees San Francisco bases out that way. And there's stuff to do in each of these directions, but you don't want to start out like that. And so this is the this is a quickie portal that I set that I built. It goes into the Nether, and um, and then I put these hoppers down so that in the event that with the the dragon loot tra table thing that we have set up, if the dragon drops the elytra and no one's able to grab it, it falls into here and ends up in this chest so we don't lose it uh, not that anyone can open up this chest except me because I have spawn protection turned on because I did not want somebody deciding oh I'll just build a base right here um, so because I do have plans to build a large iron farm here um, like an <clears throat> iron you know one of Tango's crazy iron iron farm type things so that we have plenty of iron for everyone, but um, just have not done that yet. And there are slightly modified versions of that. Oh, that layers back. Um, that will be useful. And so yeah. And this was one of the areas when I the initial dev builds of Spigot 1.13 was messing up some of the spawn chunks here and. Um, it would it would cause serious problems so uh, so although the intention was people would hop on a boat and sail out that way once we got the nether hub set up nicely I just put a portal here so people can uh, hop into the portal and walk through the nether to get to the community area or wherever they're going because you do end up here periodically when uh, you're bed gets destroyed or you break it and you die uh, this is where you end up so a little bit farther along this way not too much farther but on the other side of the bay uh, risk and see got a little tired of us uh, sort of pestering him about building stuff right on top of everyone else because he likes building big things but he builds it too close so they're not like they're, they don't sort of fit in with the uh, the surrounding very well. So he moved out to the other side of the bay, built him a portal out there to his place, and he's got he's got some kookiness going on here. Don't know why it did what it did. I think I put that sign there. There were some issues. Welcome to the West Indies. So this was uh, Riskens. He built this place out. Um, it's this was his initial space but then he started building out and 
Oh, he's here building map wall. Ye old mappy. So this is his space. But he hasn't expanded that at all. Oh, well, that doesn't help. And then, uh... So he started building now. He's got a little enchanting area here. Or potion brewing area. There's farmland below. So there's... So he built a thing down to a mine and of course he's lit it all on fire for some reason there's boats there and they start building like the golden gate bridge it's pretty cool he's out here this is this is sort of appropriate appropriate scale and he has an area with a bunch of animals somewhere right is it down there oh it's over there get some altitude here Yeah, there's some cows down there. So there's, you know, there's there's an enchanting room there that you can see through the window. Very cool. Um, Fax, uh, Fax and I built this little water fountain doji and he kind of left it. And I think when he's out exploring, he kept building these little pillars of, of blocks to uh, guide his way back. Which I guess kind of work. Um, but. I don't know that he ran into. The witch farm. The witch hut. Uh, but there's there's a swamp right here. Not too far from his place. And there's a witch hut on it. And so I built a witch farm. So th that's what this is. So we've got. Uh, I started building platforms. There's the rabbits. Let's come in for a landing on the central platform here. <clears throat> so this red red block in the middle here is kind of the ideal AFK spot. There's the witch hut is underneath there under the cover, and it's a kind of a shifting farm witch witch uh, hut farm design. And this stuff should you should be familiar with this. You should have seen this all recently. So I start building out these little octagon platforms out of glass in the sky. I think it's kind of a cool thing. It's a little bit kooky. It's not super safe, but you know, I've got Elytra. And then I, all the witch the drops are collected over there and then they shoot up an item elevator here and then they come up into this building and they're put through a little item sorter and then they go out into multiple shulker box loaders so they spit out the stuff into shulker boxes. Um, this plat this item elevator is going to break when we update to 1.13, so I'm going to have to do some work here. But that's fine. Um, so this is where the glowstone goes. So these are all empty shulker boxes waiting to be filled up with glowstone. Uh, Gunpowder, sugar, uh, sticks. That, this is overflow. This is stuff that doesn't quite get caught up correctly. Bottles. <clears throat> spider eyes and redstone. So that's all good. Um, as I said, I will be repairing some stuff here. What's... Oh, okay. I know why that's there. Cool. And I start building out other stuff. And I, I built out a little array of these platforms this one is like my house and i built it covered so that when we do update to 1.13 the phantoms won't i will i will have a place to hide from the phantoms because one thing you'll notice there's no beds here i may put a bed in here and i may build out some usable sort of space in here some storage and whatnot but i want to wait so that i can take advantage of some of the new features of 1.13 like you can place chests to one another without making them trap chests which is nice uh, I have a horse. Hey, buddy. Uh, I had a skeleton horse, but he fell and died. Uh, I had a skeleton horse that, that there was a lightning storm and the skeleton horse spawned on one of the platforms here. It was a skeleton trap and I, and I killed all the, the, the skeletons, but... Um, I had the horse, and the horse is nice because you can actually ride skeleton horses through a two and a half high tunnel in the nether, which is cool. Um, so the idea here is to make this whole area self-sustainable 
for potion brewing. So I have another wart farm here and lots of another wart. Tree farm. This was intended to be temporary, but I may keep it. Uh, and it's primarily was used to generate fuel for this, which is by monster smelter. So this is a smelter that has eight input chests and it drains from these input chests in through these mine heart mine cart hoppers super quickly so you throw a, a stack of things in here it just goes and it's gone and it loads up evenly into the eight this one loads up evenly into eight furnaces below so i've got uh 64 furnaces um so it smelts in a stack of items every 10 seconds or something like that if you fill up all the stacks all the chests up there so this is a good way of getting if you need a bunch of glass and you have a bunch of sand that's a good way of getting it um, this here is a it was also kind of meant to be temporary but i put down some mycelium and i have a mushroom farm here and a space to sort of capture mushrooms you can also grow the large mushrooms and get the cool large mushroom blocks and in 1.13 that'll be nice because there's more variety of those that you can get and then here fishing pond so I can catch puffer fish to make water underwater breathing potions um, and this over here is a carrot farm because I need carrots right. lots of carrots I need carrots to breed the rabbits and the rabbits are here. And they do this creepy thing where they all stand trying to look that way. It's it's kind of like a weird Blair Witch sort of thing. Uh, so I come here and I need the rabbits to get rabbit's feet to make leaping potions or jumping potions. So, so there we go. So I can come here, grab some carrots, breed up a bunch of rabbits. Wait for them to grow up, go and kill a bunch of rabbits, and then get get my rabbit speed. And then this this platform is pretty much just here for the portal. So this is the witch farm area. I intend to expand it. I have one empty platform here, which is where the brewing machine will go. Still trying to decide on a design for it, but the but I figure with 1.13, they're going to add new potions. So. I wanted to uh, wait on that until the new the new build comes out so yeah so like here lots of gunpowder 16 shulker boxes full of gunpowder and sugar and sticks for whatever good that does you uh, and then again this is the overflow so if you need just a few gunpowder or just a few sticks you can get them here so anyway that's the witch farm so that covers kind of this little portion of the map next time we're going to go down that other hallway and we will go check out the desert and the uh the taiga the modified taiga island and also the uh the the pyramid of giza and when i was building out the witch farm i i built a portal here and lit it up and it was in the wrong place that's the witch farm there so this one goes out and just goes to some random portal in on, on the countryside so that's that was that was a mistake that was no good but that's fine um, I left it there down here is my gargantuan tunnel that uh, this is like a 10 minute long rail cart lot ride rail lot ride ooh that's tough to say and uh, this will go down uh, to ungenerated chunks. So when I go down there and light up the 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 portal at the other end of it, you can step out in chunks that will be have been generated in 1.13, and we can see all the new aquatic stuff, um, like coral reefs and dolphins and things like that. And we will get dolphins and whatnot closer to home, but some of the other things won't uh, won't generate in closer. So that's why I wanted a space out there so we could go collect some turtle eggs and do some turtle ble breeding and all that good stuff. Anyway, so that's it for uh, part two of the server tour. Thank you for watching. This is Theron, and I will see you next time. Bye.